Hey everybody, this is Chris from Katana, and in this video we're going to talk about Katana's Zapier integration. If you're new to Zapier, Zapier is a platform that enables you to instantly connect Katana MRP to thousands of other applications across the internet. If you find in your business that you are performing tasks in a redundant sort of way because there isn't a native integration between one application and another, then a platform like Zapier could enable you to effectively automate those tasks and do those in the background if they're critical to your business. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to use Zapier to import a sales order into Katana MRP from another application. The application we're going to use today is Google Sheets. And Google Sheets is a great resource for cloud connecting several different apps. So for example, uh, a couple of use cases where this could come in handy is, let's say for example, your business is selling through a B2B wholesale portal that doesn't have a native integration with Katana, you can send data over to your Google Sheets and then use Google Sheets as an import tool essentially to get that sales order data directly into your Katana account. A couple other cases where this can come in handy is if you are doing active B2B sales and also have a CRM tool that you're closing deals on and need to get that sales order data into Katana, perhaps you also have a subscription service that you sell through your website and that generates sales automatically. You can use those types of tools to get the data into Katana and uh, perhaps from B2B contract sales where you have a certain cadence over a one year contract where you have to ship a certain amount of product every month, you can auto generate sales orders through Google Sheets to get that data into Katana at the moment it's actually needed. So you can schedule your production in a more efficient way. So there's several ways and several business cases where a tool like this could become very handy to automate something that's also very difficult to do in a manual sort of way. So in order to kick this off, what we have to do is select a trigger. A trigger is something that will occur inside of Google Sheets, which will initiate the reaction to create the action of the sales import into Katana. So for our Google Sheets, we need to select a new spreadsheet row will be added. And then when that new spreadsheet row is added, it will send over the sales order data into our Katana account. So to quickly look over what that sales order data is, we have a Google Sheet here, which is called sales order import, where I have the sales order number, customer name and email, the SKU for which the customer's purchasing, with a quantity and a price and a creation and delivery date. This information will become available to me when I'm setting up the Zap to send over into the sales order that's generated on Katana's side. So the action we have to select in this case is the creation of a sales order. But in order to create a sales order in Katana, we need to make sure that there is a customer to which that sales order can attach to. So we would first select find or create customer in order to make that happen. Now, when you start the connection process, Zapier brings you into all of the information inside here where you can um, select what data points are required in, including connecting your accounts. I've already done this previously. So my Google and Katana accounts are now connected to Zapier so I can easily select them. But you can just go through the process whenever you are selecting what accounts it is that you plan to use. So we'll select the Google Sheets account and hit continue. And then we need to find what spreadsheet we're going to use for this process. And we will use the sales order import spreadsheet. And inside of the spreadsheet, there are several worksheets and we'll select the sales order list and hit continue. And then you can test this trigger. And by testing it, what it's actually doing is it's looking for the most recently added spreadsheet row to which you can pull information from in order to send over to your Katana account. So just hit continue once you've found some data. Now the app that we're using is Katana MRP and the action event is find customer. So we'll go ahead and select continue. Choose the Katana MRP account, which I've set up previously. 
And what we need to do in order to find a customer is we need to search by an email field. So we will select search by email address and the search term, which will be found here in the customer email column from our Google Sheet is the data point in which we are trying to find an existing customer on our Katana account. Now, if for example, we search for a customer in Katana using this data and we don't find one, then the first thing we need to do is create one. So there's an option here with a checkbox that says create Katana MRP customer if it doesn't exist yet. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And if that is the case, then we'll essentially need to add some data related to that customer in the Katana account. So the name field will be captured from the customer name inside of the spreadsheet. The email address will be captured from the customer email column and the phone number, if it exists, will pull it from the phone number column. In this case, there is no data. And we do have a comment field for customers in Katana. Uh, so if you do have a comment section on your spreadsheet that's related specifically to that customer, you can also add that data to that specific customer as well. Go ahead and hit continue. Once everything looks good, then what we wanna do is actually test this data and see how it looks inside of our Katana account. So what should happen is once we select this test option, first I'm gonna select test and review, then it will create a new customer onto our corresponding Katana account. So let's give it a try. Select test and review. So it's searching for and creating a customer. And now a test customer was sent over to Katana MRP just now. So if we take a look at our Katana MRP account, we should see this new customer called Surf Central matches the data on our Google spreadsheet here. So once everything is squared away with that, then we could continue adding additional actions into our Katana account. And this time moving forward with adding a sales order. The action event we'll be doing this time would be create sales order and select continue. We will choose the correct Katana account, choose continue. And the customer ID, you would need to select the custom option, which is pulled from the find or create customer section in our second step, and then find the customer ID located here to which the sales order will be attached to. Once that's been selected, we need to map the order number to the field, which is captured from step one in the spreadsheet and order number, we will look at all options and see that SO number is found here and currently mapped. Location will be what location is the sales order going to be applied to inside of our Katana account when the sales order is imported. This is very important uh, because anytime that this zap is set up specifically for that spreadsheet, it will always attach to one location for every sales order that's pulled in. The create date is mapped directly to the creation date that we have found on the spreadsheet, so the created date here. This uses the ISO standard where you have four digit year, two digit month, and two digit day. Delivery date is also pulled from the same location. The line items are also pulling from the spreadsheet and that comes from the SKU. So in order for a sales order to be successfully generated inside of Katana, you'll need to make sure that there is a column row with an SKU and that SKU has to already pre-exist on your Katana account in order to make that sales order successful and also to make that line item attach correctly to your sales order whenever the sales order is imported. Quantity column is also found in the spreadsheet. Quantity here and price per unit is also found in the spreadsheet under the pricing column. you also need to map a tax rate ID directly from your Katana account for this zap and all zaps that will be pulled in from that spreadsheet will be assigned a dedicated tax rate. And you can only have one tax rate per zap. So if we hit continue, everything should check out and all looks pretty okay here. So when we send this test over to our Katana account, we should then be able to see a new sales order populate with order number 001. So it says a test order was sent to Katana MRP just now. So going into our Katana MRP account under the cell page, we should see order 001 
from Surf Central. If we open it up, you can then see that we have a specific surfboard that was ordered two pieces at this particular price. And everything should be good to go. And we can simply just turn the zap on. And from that point forward, it will continue to work. Another nice thing about the Zapier integration is, for example, if you have other sales orders that come in on different rows, but have the exact same sales order number, we will actually merge that line item into a pre-existing sales order if it already exists inside of Katana. So for example, if I take some order data for these two items here, and I copy and paste them directly into the spreadsheet that the Zap is working on, when I add that information in there, it will trigger the Zapier integration to send that sales order over into our Katana account. If we take a look at our sales order in the Katana account, and you can then see that it will appear here at the bottom. And inside of order 003, we'll have two line items reflected in the exact same way that we have them currently entered inside of our spreadsheet. That about sums it up for our Katana Zapier integration video concerning sales orders and Google Sheets. We hope that gives you some new ideas in ways in which you can automate pulling your sales orders from the various applications you use. Keep an eye out for us on the Zapier App Store in the future. We will continue to make upgrades such as adding additional triggers and actions for different data points within our platform. Also, if you have any suggestions on certain tasks you'd like to see automated, feel free to leave your comments down below in the comments section on this video. We welcome you to check out other awesome content on our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about this functionality or any other functionalities, you're welcome to write to us at support at katanamrp.com. That's it from me. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy manufacturing.